guys, today I'm going to be starting something new on my channel. Because I won't be able to buy that many books, I'm not going to be able to do like a book haul, you know, where I show you the books I've bought because of that. But I do go to the library a lot, so I am going to be starting to share the books that I get from the library every so often. I was able to get five books from the library this time around. The first book that I was able to get from the library, most of you should know what it is if you follow my Goodreads. It is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I finished this two days ago on Monday and I will talk more about it in my wrap up this Friday. So this book is about Kath who is just entering college and she's 18 years old and Everything's changing. Her twin sister, Ren, doesn't want a room with her, and so she ends up with a surly roommate named Reagan with her always-around boyfriend. And in her fiction writing class, her teacher doesn't believe in fan fiction, which Kath writes all the time. And she also has a classmate who is all about the words. On top of all of the pressures of the first time being in college, she has to worry about her father, who has... A mental issue. So, as I said, I did enjoy this book. I will talk more about this in my wrap-up. The next book is Never Fade by Alexander Brackett. I won't be able to tell you what this is about because it's the second book in the Darkest Minds trilogy. I believe it's going to be a trilogy and it's by Alexander Brackett if I did not mention that. I'm kind of nervous about getting into this book. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but like if I don't go straight into the second book, and I have to wait for the book for a while, I tend to get worried, like, what if I thought I liked the first book, but I did it, how this doesn't live up to the first book, etc, 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 and then I start feeling like I don't really want to read this because of all those doubts. So if anybody's experienced that, let me know. This book is really freaking shiny. Then we have Where the Heart Is by Billy Letts. If you've heard of the movie with Natalie Portman, yes, this is the book that the movie was based on, and I did not know it when I watched that movie, so I'm really scared that the movie destroyed the book, because I already know that they changed something which I thought was ridiculous to change, and I don't understand the reason for it. But anyways, if you do not know what this story is about, it's about Noble Nation, she's 17 years old, and she has this um, superstition about sevens. Every time she sees the number seven, she knows something's wrong. So she's seven months pregnant, she's 37 pounds overweight and now that she's in the line at Walmart she sees that she gets a change of seven dollars and seventy seven cents. When she leaves the Walmart in, into the parking lot she realizes that her boyfriend has abandoned her at the store so she decides to start living in the Walmart. So I really liked the movie and I really hope it did justice to this book. We have Ready or Not by Maggie Cabot Sorry that this is kind of shiny. And this book was a book that I read when I was like 13 to 15 years old. I was super young when I read this the first time. And I saw this at the library and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember reading that. But I really don't remember what it's about exactly. All I know is about an art student in New York, something about the president, and a naked guy. Basically, that's all that flashes in my mind at the moment. But I'm really hoping that this lives up to my memory. <laughs> the last book that I got from the library is Little Altars Everywhere by Rebecca Wells. It's a companion series and I did get the Divine Secrets of the Yayo Sisterhood, but I wasn't sure which one came first and I like to read things in order. So when I saw this and I saw the fact that it said that this was published first, I had to grab it. So in the Divine S Secrets of Yayo Sisterhood, you see the mother and his daughter struggling, and the mother was part of the Yayo Sisterhood. And this book talks about the four girls who created the Yayo Sisterhood and how it all came to be. So I'm super excited to see where this all starts and to get to know these girls. So that was it. If you've read any of these books, tell me down below what you thought of them. Just no spoilery type stuff. I will see you in the next one.